And here we are looking at the Lego Mindstorm robot Julian's been building. Uh, here is the current version of the robot with some bumpers in the front. Julian, why don't you tell us about how this program works that we're about to see. So, um, it goes forward. If you press this one, it, it backs up and turns around. If you press this one, it backs up and turns around this way. Okay, and are, are there any other sensors in it that are being used also to check to see if there are any obstacles in front? This, so if you put this, if you if anything is in front of here, yeah. it, does, it backs up and does that And turns too. that way. So what are the names of the different sensors that we have here? Ultrasonic and... Um, and two, ultrasonic and two set touch sensors. Right. So uh, what's the distance on the ultrasonic sensor before if it reacts? 20. 20 what? 20. 20. 20 inches or centimeters? Centimeters. Right. And how did we write the programming logic so that it is able to check for all three sensors? What do you mean? Do you remember we had to write a program to be able to have the sensors all working? And what, how did we do it basically? What did we have to use to um, be able to make those the, decisions? The switch sensor set to touch. Okay, we used two switches in a row for the two touch sensors, and then we used another switch in the middle for afterwards for the ultrasonic sensor, uh -huh. right? And now this is how the program is going to work. Okay, show us how it works. So that's the ultrasonic sensor. Awesome. Great. Thank you, Julian. Bye-bye, Discovery. Go discover.